So this tutorial is a little more like uh, advanced live performance uh, for like show bands, uh, bands that want to go from one song to the next, you know, maybe um, program their lights and their light show to go along with their show. So pretty much you just start the show and their whole show just goes nonstop. You don't have to press any, any buttons if you don't want to. Excuse me. Um, and um, so this isn't... Oh, anyway, you, this isn't a way you have to play this set. It's just an option for uh, for live show bands and people who who want their songs to you know their sets to flow right directly into the next song and the next song. And it, like I said, it's a lot easier to set up lights and and controllers. And it does take a little bit of time, but um, you're and also what's nice about this backing up. Sorry about my stuttering. Is in this mode, the way I'm going to show you, you can actually add another track and put video in that track and then come out of your MacBook um, video. And so you can use that option for several different things. If you want to, if you want to go through and, uh, and put text for the song, so it's kind of like a karaoke thing and have a monitor in front of the stage with the text scrolling up um, in time with the song um, so you can see your, uh, see your lyrics. Um, as your set goes through, you can do that. You, know, you can't run video in this mode. You have to run video in this in in this mode. And so, um, let me get these out of here real quick. Sorry. So now I'm gonna. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in grid mode. I'm gonna put it in. Uh, put it in quarter notes. That'll be good to start with. And then, uh, so you can't run video in this mode. You can only run video in this mode but so you can use the video for you know song lyrics or if you're uh, if you have LED lights or or, or um, projectors you know you can run this out and so the video you put in there can it will uh, show on the projector or the LED screens and you can actually you know uh, do your whole show videos and then put them in the way you want them to come in so it actually comes in on beat so it's really cool there's a lot you can do in this mode so the first thing you want to do is okay is you're gonna look over here um, and when I build the sets, you, they always have the BPM right here. That's gonna be important um, to line up to the grid. <clears throat> and you don't have to line up the grid, but I'll tell you it's a lot easier when you start working with MIDI clips. So um, and the BPM is there also uh, in this mode because when I click on something, because the BPM being at the end of the song name. Uh, it tells Ableton to change the BPM up here. So if I'm, this is 85, beep, uh, 85 beats per minute. If I click on this song, it'll change to 120. So I just changed to 120. Intro, two, three, four. And if I click on that song, whoops. Intro, if I click two, on this three, song, it'll change four. to 113. 113. Now if I took that off, Ableton wouldn't know. So if I went six, uh, 76 BPM, 76 BPM, Intro. but then I stop it and I click on the next song that doesn't have a BPM telling it what BPM to go at, it still stays at 76 BPM and all Intro. your tracks are going to sound Breakdown. weird. Three, four. And if they're warped, it'll play it at that BPM. So it's something that you want to make sure that you don't uh, do. All right, so anyhow, um, getting back to the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set this up. I'm only going to do a few songs, but you'll get the basic idea. So basically what you'll do is you come over here, you'll go um, go over to this mode. I'm going to go over to Master Track, and I'm going to show the tempo automation right here. And so the first thing I want to do is, is I'm come over here and click on this. And I know my tempo for this song is 85, so I'm going to press play. Set it 85. So now I just set this tempo over here to 85. This is where it gets a little tricky. So I'm going to go is I'm going to click on that clip. I'm going to come all the way over to the last one, the lead vocal clip. Press hold and press hold shift. So it selects all those. Then I'm going to come back over to my count in. Now remember there's a MIDI count in right here. So you want to leave when I come over to my other screen, all these are the same. Let me close this down. All these are the same. So I want to make sure I don't put it in this in, on this track, because if I do, it'll uh, it, it won't it'll it'll knock off all my 
my other track. So because that one's empty, you want to make sure you put it in the exact same track. So I'm going to grab the count in. I'm going to grab them all, but I'm going to, I'm going to have my mouse on count in, and I want to drag it over to the count in uh, uh, track. Okay, so now that I have all these three, I mean all these lines selected, once again, I'm going to click on count in, go all the way over to lead vocal, and uh, hold down shift before I click it. So once again, count in, go all the way over to lead vocal, hold down shift, and click on the other one. Now, um, just to make this a little simpler, I'm going to get move this back out of the way. Now what I do to get those over to the other track, i got to do that again. So count in, hold down shift, lead vocal. Now all you do is hold, down, um, hold your uh, mouse and click down and hold it on to the count in. They'll all stay blue. And then you hit the tab button on your Mac. And now it switched over there. So now if I come over here, I can drop it in. I'll line it up here on right there. And then before I unhighlight that, now you can see how it's kind of muted. You got to hit this little button right here. Okay, so I'm going to unmute that. And I'm going to come over here. And this. Um, if you move up here to the timeline, you'll see an hourglass. And if you click on that, you can, and you pull down, it'll make the things bigger. Or if you push up, it'll make them smaller. So now I'm going to go over here and pull it down a little bit so I can see where the one starts. So the one's going to start right here. You can see how these are kind of shaded differently. So I'm going to get rid of my pencil tool. And now that these are all highlighted, if something happens and I clicked on that and only one was highlighted, I'm only going to move one. So I want to go down here and I want to select them all. Just, and you do that by clicking on the top one, holding down shift, and clicking on the bottom one. That'll select them all. Then go back up to my click track, and I move that up to a 1. So that way, it's on a 1. And I know that because if I turn on the, on Ableton's um, Metrodome, and if it was going through 1 and 2, you'd hear it. But yeah, it's on 1. And you can see it's all lined up on 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. So you can see my um, my tempo right now is at um, 85. So I know the next song is not going to be at 85. So I'm going to come over here and see where I want the song to come out at. So it's going to be like... And two, three, four. Three, four. And I'm going to want that next song to start right there on four. Um, you know, or you can mash them together, whatever you want, but I'm going to have it start right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I want to change my tempo. So the easiest to do that, my next song is going to be, or I can pick any song if I want. If I want to go to Happy, um, I can put, um, so I'll put Happy in, and that tempo is 160 BPM. So now what I do is I go over here, this tempo right here is at 85. You can see that red line, that's at 85 BPM. So my next song I put in as happy is 160. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this and I am going to change this right here to 160. 160. That basically makes it so this header right here um, stops at 160. So I can take my pencil tool and I can start right there on the one and I can draw that automation at 160. And it's not going to let me go any further until I get a clip in there. But now I know that this automation right here is 160. If I keep those all the way across. So now I know this automation, this tempo is at, one, is at, is at um, 80, B, um, 80 BPM. And right here, because I set the top at 160, that this is 160. So if I watch the BPM up here, you'll see that this is 85. And I keep watching, 160. Boom. Now I can go over here. Even though I don't have my tempo set all the way up, I'm going to still drag them in. So I'm going to go over here to Happy. I'm going to click on the count in clip and come all the way over here to hold down shift, click on lead vocal, and then I go back over and hold down count in, click on tab, scroll back up to my count in track, and I'm going to put that right there on the one. And like I said, you can actually, you know, mash these together. You just got to make sure you change the tempo up to here. But now I got to go through, and now that I can get to my 
tempo track all the way down here. I can go through and I can, all I do is I push that pencil all up to the top and drag it across and it'll make that all the way to there. So now if I come over here, it's going to come out of this song. Junior Mafia, representing baby, baby. Uh. Sorry, I went back too far. And, uh, intro two, three, four, verse two, three, four. It might seem crazy. Now, if I want to make those come in a little sooner, they don't really mash, but I just go ahead and move this tempo up to here, and I can go like that, and then I grab these tracks right here, and just move them up to that next grid, and come out of here. Or if I want to get really tricky with it, I could go um, uh, keep that count in and just move these up to here, and I go. You know, and then you have a little bit of dead air, but you're not really because you have live instruments that are going to ring out. So it'd be like. You know, so you can actually get those lined up like that. You can also even go through, and um, I'm going to come down here and just click on here and add a new, um, create new audio track, and I'm just going to call this FX. And now if I go over here and just grab a clip, so let me just find something really quick. I don't know what that is. I can't hear it. Let me just see. It's solo. No, I don't want that. I don't want to. That'll probably work. Let's just see what this is. Let me find it a nice little wishy kind of loop. Let me see what this is. Well, that'll work. But if you can have a whoosh, like a or something like that, but just for right now, I'll just kind of show you what you know you can do. So you add a little clip in here. So this is going to be completely out of key, but you'll get the idea. So basically, you come out of this song, and this could be a whoosh or whatever, and then you just automate the volume. You know, but you can have, actually have that be a, a wood like Let me just go through and. Kind of. You can take the grid off, too, if you hit, like, just um, double click or two finger click. Let's turn grid off and I'll move that back to here. I'm just trying to make a quick wishy sound, but I'm just going to sound bad, but you'll get the idea. Not even close, but yeah, you get the idea. You can have a, like a whoosh, you know. You know. Anyhow, you can put whatever kind of sound effect you want there. Let me see if I can find a whoosh. No. Um, anyway, I don't have a whoosh on this computer, but you can have a whooshy sound or a big splash or a boom or whatever. You can just add it there. So that's one thing you can do. I'm going to get rid of that track. 
So basically, um, yeah, that's all, that's that's basically you line them up and you just keep going down to the next one. So we'll, get, we'll put one more in here real quick. So the next track, let's say, let's do um, what is this? I'll do like a virgin. Here we go. So now it's one twenty. I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna go take this button back off so it re-highlights that. We're gonna see where this kind of ends at. Whoops, my automation is not um, going. Let me get this back over here. There we go. Right there. Sometimes when you click over it, this little button right here will be on. Your automation will be off. But that's why that track sounded weird. But So I want to start this next um, count in, like right about. Boom! Right there. So I'm going to start that right there. So I'm going to change this. Um, now I'll put it here for right now. Yeah, I'll put it there. So come back over here. Look at my click. It's 120 is what I want. So I'm going to come up over here. And I'm going to type in 120 so I have a place to draw my line at, hit enter. So now that is seeing just see that moved that all up, but it made my grid. So I can take my little ink tool and change this tempo from here to 120. So I think that's all the further it's gonna let me go. And I'll grab my and I went that starting right here so I'm gonna go over here and grab Madonna click on the count in hold shift down click on lead vocals hold down count in click on tab and then go all the way up to my count in track which is right there and I can see the tempo starts there so I'm gonna put that there for now and turn my pencil tool off. Oh wait, I gotta finish drawing in my tempo down here, so get my pencil tool back. Go all the way up, move that over. And then you, if I take this and pick this down to like say 170, you know, now I can see my automation and my tempo. So here's, you know, 60, I can't remember what this is, 160, 120. But now, take the pencil tool back, Hey, thank you everyone. All right. Intro. Two, Madonna. Three, four. There you go. And like I said, you can mess around by moving these forward and that kind of stuff. First, two, so that's basically three, how you set four. that up. So hopefully that helps you out. And I. Uh, uh, if you want to see some how we're doing, or you want to get some tracks, just go over to backingtrackscustom.com.